It's a moisturizer that all you need is about two to three drops on the skin and you just apply it on the skin on clean skin. So make sure to exfoliate before, massage it day and night on the skin and it will help your skin to look fresher, younger and brighter once used on oregano. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make an homemade moisturizer using hibiscus. Now, what is hibiscus? Hibiscus is a plant that blew up flowers, and this flower is rich in vitamin C. It is also rich in antioxidants that help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. When it comes on to hibiscus, I've learned years ago that hibiscus help you to flush the system out and also help to get rid of the visceral fat that surround your organs but it also helps to live a tighten and firm and reduce wrinkles on the skin so if you're interested to see how I use the hibiscus to make a moisturizer continue watching before I show the recipe however take a look at what I have here I have a retinal cream and I also have a retinal serum retinal is vitamin A which helps to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin if you want to try some retinal on your skin you can check out the Chichi Beauty store alexmaxi.com which is right here and get yourself some retinol and you can use this along with your hibiscus moisturizer now let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up so here I have my hibiscus and I'm gonna be using a tea bag you can get these in a tea bag farm and one tea bag is good enough for what we're making which is about a teaspoon of hibiscus so place it in a bowl and then I'm gonna reach for some hot water make sure it's the boiling point and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna brew it just like you would brew your green tea now this is gonna take about five minutes or so to brew and then you're gonna set it aside to cool don't be alarmed hibiscus is a red flowers and it has a very very strong properties however the antromycin in the hibiscus is what help your skin to look younger and fresher now once this is cooled take a look this is what it's going to look like and what we're going to do we're going to use the strong hibiscus liquid to make our moisturizer so i'm going to take about a tablespoon of the hibiscus liquid I'm gonna pour this in if you want to make more go ahead and double up on the ingredient and you want to make sure that the hibiscus is highly concentrated next I'm gonna reach for some vitamin E oil and I'm gonna use about five drops of vitamin E oil depending on your IU pouring this in the small blender now for this recipe if you do not have a blender you still could make it just use a whisk next I'm reaching for some papaya oil and I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of papaya oil pour this in pump it in or drop it in Next, I'm reaching for some rosehip oil, and I'm using one tablespoon of the rosehip oil. So here in the blender, we have our hibiscus liquid, a vitamin E oil, papaya oil, and a rosehip oil. And now we are going to blend, and we're going to blend to a creamy consistency. Now, in spite of the fact that this is red, guys, it will not stain your clothes. It will not stain your sheet if you make it the way I'm showing here. So after blending, what we're going to do, we are going to pour this in a small jar. Now, if you're whisking, go ahead and whisk a little longer. Make sure it gets to more of a creamy-like consistency. And guess what, guys? You can also choose to just pour this in a hair tight container and shake vigorously if you do not have a blender. And now let's pour this creamy goodness out. This is your hibiscus moisturizer. However, do not go away. It's not yet done we're gonna add some more ingredient to it to even kick it up a notch to make it the perfect anti-aging moisturizer 
now next i'm going to reach for some aloe vera gel and this is what is going to seal it together this also is going to give it a longer shelf life so i'm using about two tablespoons of the aloe vera gel we're pouring this in and we're going to mix and we're going to mix well go ahead use your whisk go ahead and use your blender whatever you have just whisk thoroughly now once this is done this is gonna have some form of a gel like consistency and this is how you want it to be your leftover hibiscus liquid you can use it as a toner add a little bit of a aloe vera gel to it shake it up and use it as an hibiscus toner now let's pour this in our small jar and i like to use a glass jar you can use any type of jar you have now take a look at this here we have it your anti-aging facial moisturizer which is rich in antioxidant vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e and this moisturizer is great for most uh, skin type and you do not need to store this in the refrigerator you can store it on the countertop for about three to four days if you want a longer shelf life however go ahead and store it in a cool area or even in the bottom of the refrigerator to use this on the skin all you need is two to three drops on the skin you're gonna warm the oil in your hands and then you're gonna apply it on the face and the neck and decollete massage this into the skin by doing a quick a five minutes massage Use it at least twice per day, a.m. and p.m., and you're on your way to firmer looking skin, brighter looking skin, more even skin tone, and not only that, you're on your way to smooth, flawless looking skin. There you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share the video. And most of all, guys, don't forget to visit alexmaxi.com and get your Chichi Beauty anti-aging retinal cream and your Chichi Beauty anti-aging retinal facial serum. You can also get the two to buy as a bundle. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.